We're on our way to the Bluff Lake Preserve. See, there's some blue off in the distance. It's really, it's really close to Big Bear area and uh, Castle Rock. You could actually do Castle Rock and Bluff Lake if you want. So we're gonna check it out. The girls found a rock they want to climb. Got some climbers here. Let's see if Sophia can do this. Ah, huh? oh, she did it. She's got it. Wow. You're faster. You guys made it. Sonia says um, she was faster, but I'm trying to make sure I'm safe. Very good. <laughs> so here's the Bluff Lake Reserve. See a lot of ducks swimming around. Made it to a sign that says Bluff Lake Reserve Wildlands Conservancy. Close at 6 p.m. Hike on trails only. No swimming, no fishing, no camping. There you have it. No bicycles. No hunting, no smoking, no campfires. No uh, e cigarettes. <laughs> Are you a tree hugger? Really big, huh? Gathering spot here. Have a nice meditation. <laughs> it's 
So here's a sign pointing to the Champion Lodgepole Pine. The Champion Lodgepole Pine. Over 400 years ago, as the Spanish adventurer Cabrillo was exploring what is now Southern California, the mighty pine above you had just peeked through the soil. By the time Benjamin Davis Wilson discovered our valley in 1845, this tree had already exceeded the average lodge, lodge pole's height of 70 feet. Now, 440 years after emerging from the earth, this magnificent pine has survived fires, floods, earthquakes, and humans to stand before you today. This massive and awe-inspiring tree is one of the largest lar lodgepole pines in the world. Wow. So here's the big champion lodgepole pine. Look at this beautiful tree. Look at how big it is. So this is the edge of the bluff Daddy, lake. Daddy, he to my, my There's a little bridge crossing here bunch of trees they put there. Wow. The meadow keeps going that way though. The creek comes in from there. Alright, we'll get away from the mosquitoes.